Okay, what you see here is some sample source code from page 38 of the text where it says hands-on practice 2.6. Um, basically, I just typed this into Notepad. You can see that one of the things that is not good about Notepad is everything is the same color and if you turn your word wrap on it kind of wraps things up um, but I'm going to show you some other editors and see if that'll make any difference. Here you see the same source code inside Macromedia Dreamweaver MX. Um, most of the Dreamweavers are similar in appearance but one of the things you'll notice is that there's a lot more tools and stuff up here um, and you'll also notice that the text inside the source code is different colors. The actual things that will be displayed are in black, um, the HTML is in like a dark blue, and this other um, extraneous information is in a lighter blue. Um, and this is kind of a the typical Macromedia Dreamweaver look. Again, here's the same source code but inside a program called Adobe Go Live. It's another program that's relatively expensive. Um, but you'll see that it has some other things where links are put in red and you can actually set things to be different colors, certain you know attributes. And um, you'll see that it does, it's nice that it, you, the actual text is in black and that the letters are in blue again and you'll, have, you'll see there's different things, you know, puzzles and SWF files and things like that that you can do automatically on the fly. Another fairly common um, web page editor is Microsoft Front Page which this is in code mode but if I look in design mode it shows you what it looks like um, almost the same as when it's in preview mode. Let me go back to code here and you can see that it's similar in that it has all of the other functions of um, the other programs which puts things in different color and you know helps you organize things a little bit better. Um, while I'm here I want to point out that all of these extra spaces I put in there just to help me figure out where things are um, all of this would work the same whether it looked like this or you know all the way back like this or even if I was to you know line them up like this but obviously if it got too confusing it'd be really difficult to figure out your source code so I keep things kind of like that just so you can see where things are and one more time here the same source code as featured in a program called HTML kit which is a free um, program that I downloaded this evening. Um, it has another some of the same features as the others where it has the different colors of text and helps you outline. Um, it's kind of got these other extra codes up here. I haven't really played too much with it but you can see that it has a preview option which mo the other editors also had which is another thing that's nice that's different from Notepad. Um, and it also has an output and split view where you can have the split view and the editor. And finally, this is uh, the same source code in a program called Rodin Web Editor X4 that I downloaded from download.com this evening. Um, again, some of the same features. It adds a nice numbered line thing here. Um, lots and lots of pre-built functions here. Um, and it also will have, you know, the ability to put in things like, you know, tables and, and fonts and things like that. Now I'm going back in here to HTML Kit because it's a free program and because I want to use it to demonstrate some of the nice functions that you get in an HTML editor that's different from Notepad. For example, if I go down here and I start to type in a tag, for example, bracket A space, it knows that I'm going to do A href equals quote quote and then the close brackets and then you'll notice that it also finishes my tag for me. So if I just type in a www.askgriff.com or something and here my web page it has that all complete so if I wanted to do IMG space it automatically fills in the other stuff for me so it really is nice to have an editor instead of just notepad um, it helps you really keep things organized so let's jump back here to front page because I want to show you design mode most HTML editing programs have a design mode and that is if you look at these things here, for example, TCP doesn't have any bold or emphasis or any weird tags like that to make it stand out. Well, if I look over here, I might want it to be a little bit, you know, more bold or something. So I can do bold and I can make the text larger or smaller. Um, I can change the font. 
I have lots of unusual fonts in here, but we'll get into fonts later. The problem with fonts is that you have to make sure that the fonts are fairly standard, otherwise the people that are looking at them on the web will not be able to see them. Um, so I can do that, and then if I go into my code view here, you'll see that I've got a bold, and now my font size equals 4, face equals Albertus medium, and then it ends my font, ends my bold. So that stuff was put in from the editor mode. Now one of the nice functions of a program like Front Page is they have this little paintbrush tool which says Format Painter. So if I click on that and then click this, it puts it in the same format. And that helps because there's a lot of times you don't want to go and bold it, italicize it, change the font and the size, and it helps you keep things consistent. Um, but if I go back into my code mode, um, I'll see other you know, things that have been added in here, more fonts here, and I go back into design, and another function that's nice with these things is the split mode, and that's so that you can actually change something here, and you, if you highlight it, it'll show you what you've got highlighted up in the top window, or the bottom, or the side, depending on where it's, how it's set up, and when you make a change, you'll see that it adds that change in here. Alright, so that should be kind of a, a quick demo of what is available. Um, if you have any questions, you know, give me a message, email me, whatever. Um, thanks a lot.